yamas, and the niyamas are very different than the yamas. The niyamas is more about our morality, about ourselves. And the niyamas are sometimes a little bit hard to actually swallow because of the fact that it makes us see ourselves and we don't, the, we don't like to see ourselves. We don't like to see our flaws. We are quick to look at somebody else's flaws and point them out, but we're not quick to turn that finger right here. And if we think about it, every time you point at somebody, you got three fingers pointing back at you, right? So you, what you want to do is that this is about your moral observance, okay? Your moral observance. How do you observe your morality? What are your values? What, no matter what, are you willing to compromise or not willing to compromise? This is the truth of who you are. And that's why it's so scary to take a look at this, because it is the truth of who you are. All right, and so compared with the yamas, the, the niyamas are a little more personal and much more in-depth into taking a look at your inner guidance system. And your inner guidance, many of us, um, our inner guidance is out of whack, right? And so the first of the niyamas is called sausha, even though it's put up there as S-A-U-C-A, -A, that little thing under there is sausha. And it's how clean and pure are you both on the inside and on the outside, right? So in other words, do you carry yourself, the, you know, Regardless of where you're going, do you always have pride in how you look outside? You don't have to wear the most expensive clothes or carry the most expensive purses or wear the most expensive shoes. But if you, even if you don't, are your shoes clean? Are they, are they buffed? Are your purses nice and, um, you know, and taken care of? Or, you know, are the, the shoes all scuffed up and all of that, right? So, are your shirts clean? Or are your shirts pressed? How you present yourself to the world has a lot to do with how you feel about yourself outside. And we've all, we've all experienced that. When you don't feel good on the inside, maybe your health is compromised. When you don't feel good, you immediately say, oh, I'll just throw this on or I'll just throw that on, right? And so the Sausha talks about how clean and pure are you both on the outside. And in order for you to be able to figure that out, you need to answer these questions, and these are part of your homework. Do you eat clean? Because how you have your internal, your internal creates your external. If you feel lousy because you eat junk, you're going to feel like junk, right? Clean means, clean means do you eat your food or do you put all kinds of crap on it, you know? Do you go into the salad bar and think that you're, and delude yourself in thinking that you're eating a nice salad and then you go and throw that cream dressing on there, right? Then that's, that cancels it out, right? And then there's different greens. Are you le eating the big lip, leafy greens or are you eating the the cheapest greens, which is the what we call the big lettuce, the round one, right? The head of lettuce, right? That's that's not a that's not a very clean. That makes your body more acidic, more open to catching pneumonia, bronchitis, those kind of things. Switch over to the darker greens. Do you eat raw? How many things do you eat raw? Did you know that in order to keep the body healthy? You need to be eating nine cups of greens daily and nine cups of colors daily. How many raw? And I'm not talking cooked. I'm talking raw, right? How many of you guys eat even one cup? At least one cup. That's a good thing, okay? Do you eat junk? And if you do, how many times a week do you eat junk? You know, junk food actually destroys and plays around with the chemistry in our brain. The more junk food you eat, the more, I want to say, the more unintelligent you become, right? It's, it, there's a direct correlation, junk food, junk
junk mind. Junk food, junk mind, right? And there's a reason it's out there, interestingly enough. Um, do you judge others in your thoughts when people are walking by? Or when your mom pisses you off, do you judge her with your, you know, with your thoughts? So how clean are you on the inside? Are your thoughts always judging people? Do you judge yourself when you look in the mirror? We have that exercise, right? Do you judge yourself when you look in the mirror? You have to take a look at that. Are you practicing Sosha? Right? Sosha means how pure are you? That's a reflective question. How pure and how pure are your intentions? Do you do things, do you do things to help somebody for the simple purpose of getting something back. A lot of times we say, oh, well, I'm going to help her because she'll pay me this money. Or I'm going to help her because later on she's going to give me something. Or do you just help people to help people? So how clean and pure are your intentions, right? Do you practice asana and gratitude daily, right? Not just when you come to class, but are, do you take time to practice some asana? It can be five minutes, it can be ten minutes, but do you practice it daily, right? So that's important to know that we practice our asana daily. Do we give thanks every day before we get up in the morning? That's a practice that I've asked you to start at the beginning of the, of the um, class. And the older we are, the more we have a tendency to be thankful. The younger we are, the more entitlement we feel. Like we think that we own it, we think we got it, and we think because, and that's just it. Interestingly enough, that entitlement at the age of 45 goes way away. Yeah. Oh, next time, I think you got Sure. Um, eight months ago, my grandma passed away. 